Hey guys, I'm doing Scripted Ticket, bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to go over Okta SSO. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. So today I want to go over Okta and um, why we use Okta, how important it is. And because a lot of companies are asking for it. So if you go online right now, literally, if you go to indeed.com and you type Okta, you'll see it all over the place. So let me share my screen with you and, and let's just go over Okta today. Okay. So screen one uh sure there we go all right so today is uh, a little bit about okta okay so what is sso sso is single sign-in is a session or user authentication service that permits the user to use one set of login credentials for example a name and password to access ac access multiple applications so here is the user um here is the sso integration and then there are a lot of access all the apps so if you ever worked in a job environment like me because i'm in my job right now and i use okta and i'm an okta admin Typically, what happens is a user uh, access for access to Workday, right, or Concur, or um, some sort of application that uh, wants to wants to be embedded in, on the homepage or on the website of the company, right? So they have these integrations with Okta, which allows you to just click on it and you're able to log in. And you're like, Kevin, how is it done? So actually, the funny funny enough, that's actually done through security groups. So some companies may have. Um, groups created within Okta themselves and some companies may have it set up with security groups and AD on Active Directory. So you add the user to Active Directory, it goes back, it syncs over to the SSO on Okta. It says, okay, I'm here. Oh, you add him to this group? Yes. Okay. I'm here. Okay. Let's give him access to that, to that application. Now let's give him access to, uh, to Asana or whatever. Right? So that's basically what it is. Go to the next screen. Um, and then what is MFA? So MFA is multi-factor authentication. Authentication system that requires more than just more than one distinction authentication factor for successful authentication. So remember, like, I talk about, um, I'm not a security guy, right? But it's all about security, right? You want to make sure you have multi-factor authentication enabled on your devices, especially when you're logging into, like, Bank of America, Chase, whatever, right? Just make sure you have authentications in place for that, if that makes sense, okay? Um, there are three main types of uh, authentication, um, which is the most common one is things you know, knowledge, such as the password or PIN. Things you have possession, such as a badge or smartphone. Things in, inherent, such as biometrics, so your finger, your face. You know, the one when you when you when you have an iPhone and it doesn't open unless you put your face on it with face recognition, stuff like that, right? So these are these are the authentications you will use, and that's it for this slide. So the next thing I want to do, since I'm sharing my screen, I actually want to go and log into Okta, and I actually want to go and and sign up for Okta. So Okta, uh, free trial. Free trial, right? And we're going to go in here. We're going to go to single sign-in. And it says free trial. Let's try it for free. I'm going to autofill all my information. You guys already know my name. Um, I'm going to block this. I'm going to block this um, on the on, our, on my end. So you guys don't see it, obviously. Um, I'm based in New York. All right. And I'm not a robot. Get started. Uh, it says business email require. So I, lucky enough for me, I do have this email. It's KevTech. My KevTech email should work. It should take that one because that is a business email. It's a domain account that I parked. So it should let me in after this. So just give that a second. Yeah, it is. It's just trying to. It's trying to create my account, my profile, and which is why it's taking forever. All right, so now I have my actual URL, uh, my 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 trial URL. If that makes sense. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna copy that URL, whatever whatever URL is. So you could click on it, whatever works for you, right? And it's a trial version. So now it's gonna make me log in. So single sign in, right? So let me see. I don't know what my username is gonna be. So let me check. Oh, it says login. It's gonna be Kevin. It's gonna be my whole email address. Okay, so let me do that. Let's see if it lets me in. Um, and there's no password here for some reason. So I'm going to assume that if I go to my, um, if I go to my Outlook, I probably have an email from Okta telling me what my email, what my password is and stuff like that. So I'm going to open up Outlook right now. So just give me a second. Um, and I'll grab that information real quick. It's a, a crazy. So it's a crazy password. 
Uh, all right, so let me log in here real quick, verify, and I'm gonna change it to something else that I uh, I could use. You can change it to whatever you want, but I'm gonna I'm gonna change it to something else to make my life so much easier. And then here, literally here, look at this. It's literally asking me to set up my phone. This is a funny thing. This is what I was wait. This is what I want to show you guys because you guys need to learn, to learn how to do this, right? So what I did was I'm using the Microsoft screen app to share my screen. I'm going to drag it on, on the screen that we're using right now. So I have my screen right here, right? And I'm going to minimize this a little bit and I'm going to show you what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to open this up and we're going to go into Okta. And let's see if it lets me, does it let me, does it let me show Okta? So let me, I don't think it's going to let me show Okta here, but. Um, you can't see it for some reason, which is totally fine. You you know what I'm trying to do. So we're gonna set up Okta. Uh, I'm gonna open that up again. I'm gonna scan it real quick. It's loading. It's loading. It's loading. Uh, this is enabled by all metrics. Not now. I'll do that later. Um, it says your device has been added successfully, and it says you want to set up a phone to uh, like set up later. Um and done. So, so you can't see anything on my screen. Like I have a number here, and I, I'll show you it. Let me stop sharing for a second. You guys, because you guys can't see it. There's a there's a number, right there. So I'm officially logged in with my email address. You guys have my email address regardless of anyway. But I, there's a number. So now I'm officially in, and now I'm a, I'm a, I'm an I'm an Octa now. And that's pretty much it with Octa. Like it's pretty pretty seamless, pretty easy. Um. If I, if I click on it, it doesn't let, it doesn't actually it doesn't let me share the screen. I think I think it's for security reasons. Um, it's probably that that's probably why. And then here, if you want to go go further into in depth with this stuff, let me let me um share my screen again. Like, Kevin, I don't see anything. Let me share my screen again. All right, here you go. So it looks like this, and then it it gets it, it's really interesting because here you you can add applications. Like, if I want to add like um. Uh, I don't know. Let's just let's just pick one, right? Could be could be anything. Like, uh, it's, it's, uh, oh, you know what? Serv is service now there. Let me see. No. What about Jira? Don't have this app. Uh, I don't have this app really. Oh my goodness. Um, let's see, a lot of applications. Holy moly. Oh, I think it's called uh, I think it's called Audison. Audison, that's what it's called. They have Amazon here. It's pretty cool. Amazon. Uh, just for just for the fun, just for fun today, let's just click on one to see how it see how it looks. So let me. Oh, oh my goodness, you got AOL. That's <laughs> funny. We got AOL. Let's look on AOL. Let's see what happens. On AOL. Okay, it's there now. Okay, then you log in. And you got to set it up on the back end. So I'm pretty sure uh, I got to, I could put a password here and then it sends me to, to the page. And you got to set it up, the, the Octa plugin and everything. And I'm guessing that this is the back end stuff. Like, um, go to the admin side. And it's going to probably prompt me from my authentication, um, which is fine. Uh, send me a push. Uh, send me a push. It's fine. Yes, is me. Um, and it should let me in. Okay, here we go. This is where this is where the, this is the fun part. This is where all the fun part comes in. So you have enabled able to be factor authentication. You have your agent. So if I want to add somebody, I could add someone right over here. You have your tasks. Um, and then this is where you would literally. This is where you like you would look for the user. Like if you have a user, like. We're gonna go more in depth in this, so don't worry about what I'm showing you today. We're gonna go to people, right? And this is where it goes more in depth. You click on the user, right? And then this is where you'll see all the apps assigned here. And then just the groups will be right here. So if I create a group, I could create a group in here, and then um, I could assign them applications as well. And we're gonna go, we're gonna go more in depth on this. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun for both of us, uh, for all of us, I guess. But for educational purposes, I wanted to show you how to how how this works, right? And obviously, it it doesn't it doesn't let me do it with my. It says I'm logged into an Android device, which is fine. I'm a super user, which is fine. Obviously, it doesn't let me go in. Like it lets me peg down the the device. Like I can suspend it and deactivate it. 
And if I click on it, it gives you more information about it. So if I go back, um, you could really like with this with this, you could really look at the if it's rooted and everything. It gives you some more information about it, which is kind of cool. Um, you could deactivate it. Um, you have your profile editor, so Octa's right there. So you could change that as well. You could you could make some change. It gets complicated with this thing. You do directory. So if you want to enable LDAP or Active Directory, you can put it in here. So this is how this is how some companies do it. Um, and then you have your domain right here. I could customize my domain. I have no domain right now. So if I want to, I'll get it started. I probably gotta I probably gotta pay for it, but you know, just that's what's that. Um, you have your applications, your self-service, and a bunch of other things. So yeah, it's a it's a bunch of they got webhooks here. There's a bunch of stuff here that we could go over. Um Task agents, people, which is what I just showed you. And if I want to add a person, I can. Like if I want to add a user, I could put my 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 personal account in here, right? Uh, username it must be email, okay? All right? And then because that is my email, and I will set. Up, I will. Uh, I'll leave it like that, and then save and add. And it should have added it, so. Let's go back. So now Kevin Pornario is there. So now if I go to, let me go here. If I go to my 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 phone, I'm on my phone. Let me drag it over to show you. Um, this is this is what the, this is what the, the what the user may get or may not get depending on the environment you work at. And it says, "Welcome to Octa from Kevin Pornario, Kevtech IT Support." And then you just click on the URL, right? And you just you set up activate your account. You set up your your account. So I'm gonna I'm gonna click on it. Um, you probably can't see my screen, which is fine. Uh, and it says your help help set up set up password. So actually, let me go. Let me share my screen again. So it says set up password for my Gmail account, which is fine. And then here I I here I would I would set up a password. So let me let me set that up real quick, just just to show you how it works. But you guys could you guys could play around with this because you have to you have to walk through a user and just show them how to log in, you know, because they're not tech savvy, right? So if you were in a job environment now 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 that if you're now that I, I showed you how to do this, you should be able to um do it in your job. So let me see if I could do it from my phone because it's a little bit slow over here. So let me. And then now it's prompting me to set up Okta again. Um, and it says here, uh, show you the screen. It says, do you want to send an email link or do you want to text the text is set up? So I'm going to do email link. And... I'm waiting for the email. It says email link. Okay, I don't see anything. Let me let me uh let me let me check again. I think so I didn't get anything. Let me check my uh my account over here. It says active. Oh, okay. I'm activated. Okay, cool. So yeah, the, the, this is what I wanted to show you. So like, if you're working L IT support or help desk, whatever, you could reset the password or more remove the password. You could also reset the authentication. So they have like I don't have anything right now, but you could reset their authentication. You could clear the user sessions, suspend them, and they de deactivate them. So uh, I don't want to make this video too long, but that's about it for me. Uh, I just want to stop sharing. And it's just a basic information video on Okta and how to use it and how we use it in a work environment. It's extremely important, by the way, because a lot of companies are using Okta right now. 
And I will go more and more further into this as I make more videos, if that makes sense. With that being said, just sign up for our tri uh, uh, trial version and play around with it. And you can add it on your resume after this. All right. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Peace. Bye.